In this video, we have my final book insight, Leadership by John C. Maxwell. This is a book that explores the need for leaders to shift and adapt in the changing world. It offers practical insights for developing the necessary skills to lead with impact in any situation. There are 11 leaderships in this book that aims to help you to help you position yourself for success in the future. Miss the boat and you stay the same as today. The future is yours to take advantage of. And I'm going to share a few of the leaderships, not every single one. If you're interested in knowing all 11 leaderships, make sure you check out the book. I feel like John C. Maxwell had some great points in, in this book. Leadership 1, the focus shift, soloist to conductor. Great leaders used to be great and top producers. Tomorrow's leaders need to orchestrate groups. So these leaders that John, is Max, John Maxwell is referring to, the tomorrow's leaders are people that prioritize and value the group's development as opposed to being a selfish leader that is only interested in, it, in his own benefit. Great leaders bring, bring out the best in everyone rather than seeking to shine themselves. So the great leaders are, are people that want to put the spotlight on everyone in, in the best way that they can do it as opposed to just shining the spotlight on themselves, taking credit for everything, and being someone who only values themselves. To be a true leader, you need to make the mind, sh the mind shift from me to we. So you need to think about how can I improve others? How can me and my community grow as a group? As opposed to how can I make the most out of everyone that's in my environment? How can I take advantage of everyone? And how can I grow? If you think in the mindset of we, you'll find that many people appreciate this, this approach that you take and everyone will try to develop as, as you'd consider every person. It's a very good mindset to have. Switching from me to we is, is a great step towards contributing to the betterment of society. Leadership two, the, the personal development shift. Goals to growth. Goals help you do better but growth lets you become better. Leaders are growth oriented. So the difference here that John is, is pointing towards is your intentions towards your growth. Are you saying, are you just focused on accomplishing targets or are you really considering how you develop your character and your behavior and your mindset? A goal mindset emphasizes achievement and status, whereas a growth mindset values development and stretching oneself. A goal mindset prioritizes hitting a target and asking how long it will take to get there, whereas growth mindsets simply ask, how far can I take this? And I feel like one of the biggest differentiators versus growth mindset versus goal mindset is passion. How passionate are you about the career that you're in, about your the thing that you're doing? If you don't have much passion for it, you're likely lean towards a goal-oriented mindset if you love what you're doing and you are very passionate about it, you will lean towards a growth-oriented mindset. Great leaders don't simply climb up the ladder. Through mentoring, they build, they build ladders for others to climb. So leaders are more selfless. Well, the better leaders here that John Maxwell describes, they are selfless and they care about not only giving someone, like, like a fisherman giving someone fish, it's about the fish, is the fisherman going to teach that person how to fish? And the difference here is that if you give someone the fish, at least they have something to eat for that time. But if you teach that person how to fish, they have food for a lifetime. And in the same way, building the, climbing this, this ladder that, that Maxwell is describing is about growth. It's about development. It's about learning and, and so on. Leaders provide platforms for people to grow, learn, and explore their opportunities. Those are the leaders you want to really follow. Those are the teams you want to be a part of. Those are the friends that you want to have. And I feel like a lot of the traits that John Maxwell describes doesn't just necessarily apply to leaders. It applies to people. You lean towards people that want to help you grow. And as well as themselves, they want to see communal growth. Those are the people that you you respect and feel like they provide value to not only you, but to other people. 
True leaders make the shift from climbing up the ladder themselves to thinking about how they can build ladders for others. Connecting with people achieves better results than simply directing them. Making the shift from uniformity to valuing diversity will bring greater value and richness to your leadership and life. As opposed to trying to focus on building a team where everyone just thinks the same, allowing diversity and difference in opinions to to be in one team can potentially bring out more from the group. And because the difference in, in opinions fills in the gap of knowledge and can be provide more holistic view on things. Teams are more effective and valuable when they embrace diversity because diversity brings insight and perspective that can fill the knowledge gap. As a leader, you can't know everything. You rely on your own team to fill in those gaps and it can do so most effectively when it brings different perspectives to the table. And reading this was a very beneficial thing to reiterate in my mind. It's an important concept to understand that you don't know everything and it's okay to rely on others because relying on others allows you to fill in knowledge gaps, gain more opportunities, have people to talk to and discover more in terms of knowledge and ways to do things. It's just, it just offers so much more as opposed to being a lone wolf and trying to spear things, spearhead things by yourself. When you try to build a team and join groups with others, you can accomplish so much more because because of how how beneficial it is. And in my opinion, this is the biggest benefit from John Maxwell's book. I feel like the idea that you alone is good, but you as a part of a group is amazing. That is, in my opinion, the best thing I, I drew, the best point that I got from Maxwell's book. And I, that's why I really like I love the book I feel like it's a it was a good book for me to understand how leaders think and how people should really think when it, when it comes to interacting with others and being someone who cares about the community cares about teams cares about sharing with people and growing as a group now before I read this last quote this is this is my last book insight and throughout the last 50 or well, through the last 50 book, book insights i've been really happy i've i've done what i wanted to do and i'm happy that i've been able to contribute something out there some some form of knowledge and i hope that me going over these people the, all of these authors books has been beneficial to you it has taken a lot of time but it's, it's pretty much been worth it i feel like there is a lot of benefit to it Thank you if you've watched even one of the videos. I appreciate it so much. And I hope that you can apply one of these things moving forward in life. That's that's all I would really want from this, really. So, yeah, thank you so much. Now, the last quote, and I'll end the video here. The goal in life is to not live on forever, but to create something that does. Where will you end up if you follow your calling? Only time will tell but the journey will be worth it and the story will be amazing.